Okay, today I'm going to cover with you how to turn on a torch, explain a little bit about what each gauge represents and some of the parts of the torch. Uh, I'm starting out here just to make this a little bit shorter. Um, so, first of all, we want to identify the tanks. A lot of companies will use standard colors, but different companies use different colors. So, therefore, we cannot just assume that this tank being gray is a oxygen tank. We cannot assume that this one is a saline just because it's red. There are tags on each tank. These are on the back side here. You can't see them. But this one does say compressed oxygen. This one says acetylene. Now, we've done and set the torches. We've done hooked everything up. We've purged the lines. we checked for leaks. All that is covered. The first thing I want to describe to you, a lot of questions I get are on gauges. How do you know which gauge is which? Well, you can see that there's two gauges attached to this regulator. This gauge right here is closest to the valve. So therefore, it tells me that that is the tank pressure. Now, all pressures read in PSI on oxygen and acetylene. This gauge right here tells me how much line pressure I have after I adjust this in. The same thing applies for acetylene. This is tank pressure and this is line pressure. This right here is the adjustment screw that sets the pressure on the tanks. Okay. After we go through the process of turning them on and setting them up, I just want to tell you what these are. These right here are called flashback arresters. Their purpose is, in case something malfunctions in this torch, and somehow or another a fire escapes and gets back into one of these lines, these flashback arresters are there to extinguish that fire. We have check valves here in this torch. They allow fuel to pass through one way and one way only. Now, one of the most important things that you want to remember when turning on a set of tanks is you never want to stand in front of the gauge. There has been instances where the, the torch system failed and this blow out and has actually killed people and caused serious injury. You can see that the tanks are chained up and that is a necessary thing. You cannot operate a set of torches without them chained up properly. It really doesn't matter, in my opinion, which one you turn on first. When you turn the oxygen tank on, you want to turn it on all the way because it has a O-ring that seals it when it's closed and seals it when it's open that prevents it from leaking. Now, we can either set the pressure or we can go over here. I'm gonna go ahead and set the pressure. On oxygen, I like to run 40 PSI, especially with a short length of hose like this. The reason I run 40 PSI is this torch right here has tips gauged to the metal size that you're operating with. So, I'm getting ready to cut quarter inch metal. This is a quarter inch tip. Therefore, this pressure will work fine with that. Some people say 30 is enough. I prefer to use 40. It's just I get a better quality cut. Okay, I've set this one up. I want to come around and I want to be clear of this one right here. Now, I can stand here and visually see this gauge and know when it comes on. Now, they teach on acetylene gauges. Some say three quarters to turn. Some people say one turn. No more than a turn and a half. And the reason being, if something was to happen that a fire broke out, you could get to this tank and turn it off quickly. What I like to do is I'll watch this gauge, the tank pressure, and when I turn it on and see that raise up, I will go about a half more turn. Because I find if I don't, that this tends to bleed off. I don't have enough pressure, enough volume coming out this line. Now here is the major thing, that, and it scares a lot of people. People are intimidated by this. But on acetylene, the maximum safe operating pressure is 15 PSI. 
That doesn't mean we're going to run at 15 PSI. We're going to run at between 5 and 7 PSI. Now I can take these settings right here that I've just set up on this torch and I can cut this quarter inch plate. I can cut 3 eighths, half, 1 inch, 3 quarter, up to about an inch and a half plate with these settings as long as I'm using the appropriate peel. Now there are specific travel speeds and stuff. You've got to learn to adapt that. And you'll learn this as you start to make cuts that you can see you can move certain speed on certain thicknesses of metal and the thicker metals you need to slow down a little bit. So the next thing I want to do, I've got the tank set up. I've got me a little line drawn right here. I want to make sure my torch tip is clean. Now, the outer holes in the torch tip, the outer holes in this torch tip are for the acetylene and preheat. The center hole in this torch tip is for the oxygen to blow out the molten metal once it's preheated. And that's what does the cut. So, take your set of tip cleaners. Most of the time, the only hole you the only hole that you really need to clean out is the oxygen hole because it's a lot of times the metal flakes off this will, will pop up and clog it up. Now it's cleaned out. You can hear there's really no restrictions here. Now, some people like to use welding hoods on cut mode. These auto marketed hoods do have cut mode. One such as this. There's face shields that are tinted. There's goggles like this that are tinted. I like to use just regular cutting glasses. Minimum of shade five is what I like to use, and that's what OSHA recommends is a minimum of shade five. So once you have everything set up, you're getting ready to make a cut, you can see that I don't wear a cap when I'm cutting with a torch. That is one of the PPE that, that you can wear. But you can see I have boots, pants, long sleeves, and I have leather gloves, and I have my eye protection. Now what you want to do, you never ever use anything other than a striker. I got a video that I show people when they call it a spark light and everybody kind of gets tickled over that. But we call it a striker. Don't use a lighter, that's very dangerous to use. Uh, they can blow up on you or anything like that. It's even a good recommendation that if you are a smoker or anything like that, that you don't have lighters on you because these sparks could get in there and cause it to blow up and it can hurt you. What you want to do is you want to turn your settling on about a half a turn. You notice I've got it just a little high right now. I'm going to back it down just a little bit. And I'm going to bring my glasses up just for this demonstration purpose. You can see this black smoke here. What I really want to do is get that away. And that generally happens about right there. Right before this flame breaks the kill. Now, we want to use a neutral flame. This right here is a carburizing flame. You can see that this big blue flame is very long. That is the wrong flame. Also, this it's called a carburizer or oxidizing flame, meaning we have too much oxygen. So we'll back it out. Now, you can see the toes are growing just a little bit. I got it brought in. Being comfortable is one of the main things about making a good clean cut. Be sure there's nothing in the way. These torch hoses are safe where they're at. Get you a Rest, wait for the edge of the metal to preheat. Once that happens, depress the oxygen.
Now, once you've made a cut, you look at it. Here is a something that a lot of people debate. Which way is the best way to shut down a torch? Here's what I want to see happen. Turn the acetylene off first, that way the flame gets blown out. Then turn the oxygen off. You can remove your glasses. Remove the torch down. Go back to your safety glasses. Come over here, turn both tanks off. Now, after you turn both tanks off, do not back these out yet. You need to bleed the tanks down. So we're going to turn the acetylene on and hold the oxygen down. You can watch the, both of those gauges go down, both of these go down. After that, turn the acetylene off, release the oxygen off, and then back both of the regulators out until these free up. You'll feel the pressure release. So, does anyone have any questions?